your child friends. It is Miss Amy here over from the Little Gym of Clarity. For this class of the Little Gym at Home, we're going to be talking about balancing buddies. A couple things that you'll need for this class is a scarf or a handkerchief or a washcloth or a napkin, whatever you have around, and a ball as well. One other thing that you will need is going to be a line to help us with our balancing. Now what I did is I put some gym tape and I made a line across the dance floor here. Um, if you have any painter's tape, what you can do is put a line on your floor or on your carpeted area that's going to be used as a visual aid to help us with walking and balancing on a straight line. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started today with our hello song. I need your help to clap and sing with me. Say, oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. How do you do, your gym friends? How do you? How do you do, your gym friends? How do you? Oh, we come to gym for fun and we'll get you on the run. How do you do, your gym friends? How do you? Awesome job. Thank you for singing with me today. Hey, today for our name activity, we're going to do some upside down names. Now, going into our theme parent of balancing buddies, you may hear me talk about the vestibular system a lot. Now, our vestibular system is overall our balance control center. The vestibular system is those fluids in those inner ears. They help us with spatial awareness. And a great way to really work that vestibular system is by going upside down, by turning, by tumbling, really kind of getting that dizzy feeling to help us um, with that balance control center. So we're going to be talking a little bit about um, twirling, rolling, really working the vestibular system along with different um, balancing exercises as well too. Well, for our name activity, my name is Miss Amy and I'm going to do an upside down time. But my favorite way I like to go upside down is by doing a donkey kick. Yeah, yeah. But for your little one, you can hold them upside down. Or for my older parent child age group, they can even try that donkey kick along. So go ahead and take a minute, introduce yourself, and how do you want to go upside down today? Our sign language sign today is balance. Balance goes like this, having your palms facing down and moving them up and down. Balance. All right, it is time to get started with our warm-up. For our warm-up, I have Miss Sparkles here to demonstrate some of our skills. Keep in mind that our parent-child program ranges from ages four months all the way up to three years. So you're going to see a couple different progressions. I'm going to be using Sparkles to spot for a non-walker progression. So anytime that you hear the music say walk or run and you have a non-walker, continue to spot them at their upper torso, at their elbows for a lighter spot, and kind of guide them along that way. If you have an independent walker or runner, what you can do is um, have them just independently go walk and run. And then for my younger ones, about four to 10 months, you guys can work on some weight bearing and having them weight bear standing on their feet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is gonna be a fun one. Here we go. One, two, and three. Run! I ready to start on the run. So again, I'm gonna spot Sparkle since she's a non-walker and spotting at the upper torso. Again, if you have that independent walker, let me see how fast you can run. Go, go, go! Flying really high. Whoosh. Whoosh. 
child upside down, All right. either in your arms, or lay them on the floor, then pick them up carefully by their ankles. Gentle slings Oops. are fine, and then set them down gently. If your child doesn't like being upside down, just rock them in your arms and experiment with going a little bit upside down as you rock back and forth. Have fun! Oh, we agree! I guess this is a very vestibular system workout, but really should be the fluid in our ears in this one. Really comfortable rotating and sliding. Have fun with this one, parents. Triangle. 
triangle. So we're gonna How hold it diagonal. Can you step or jump yes. over the triangle? Beep, 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 
What you can also do is get an object like a frisbee or something that's in a circle, pretend it's a steering wheel and see if they can go backwards as well. That's a fun one to do, especially for my older BC age group. All right, moving on to our next body part position, we're going to practice wheelbarrows on our tape line. Now, earlier in our videos, we were talking about the wheelbarrow, helping us with core control and strengthening those shoulders. Now we're going to put it into a little bit of motor planning. So see if you can spot your child in the hips and have them walk along that straight line, trying to put one hand in front of the other. This is going to be a great way, again, to get comfortable upside down, get comfortable motor planning, and then if you get confident and comfortable on the balance when you get back into the gym. So again, spotting at the hips, never at the ankles or the knees. We don't want those little backs to buckle. We want to really be supporting them right there. Awesome job. All right, and now for our last skill, we are going to demonstrate a wheelbarrow into a forward roll. Now the spotting for this one may be a little bit more hands-on, especially if your little one is still learning how to tuck their head. We want to make sure that whenever they're doing a forward roll, they're safely putting that chin to their chest and really rolling on the back of their neck rather than the top of their head. So there's a couple ways that you can practice this one. Uh, again, for my little ones who know how to um, spot or sorry, tuck their head, what you'll do is just spot them at the hips. From there, just kind of guide the hips forward and encourage them down to roll. Keep in mind, whenever we're spotting a forward roll, again, make sure we are spotting them in the hips. Uh, if your little one is still learning how to reach down and how to tuck that head, totally fine. So let's say that I have a younger birdie age um, that is not necessarily folding in half. What you're going to want to do here is encourage those hands to go down by a more manipulative spot. I'm going to do spotting sparkles underneath the belly. Those legs are going to go up a little bit, which is totally fine. But see here how now I have a free hand to tuck sparkles head and encourage her to roll nice and safely down on the tape line. So make sure you guys are practicing those at home. Again, this is a great way to work on motor planning, getting us ready for balancing on that beam. Everyone has been doing such a great job working on balancing skills and body part awareness. We're going to go ahead and finish out with one of our last activities, which is ball time. So what I have here is what's called a slow-mo ball. It's a little bit larger. And we're going to be working on balancing on the slow-mo ball. So what you're going to do is you're going to put the ball down. You're going to go ahead and hold your child out in front of you. And you're just going to simply have them sit on the ball. This is a great way to work on our core control. So a way is you can spot this. Again, the heavier spot being at the torso. And with this one, the lower that spot goes, the more they're going to kind of get a little wobbly there and really find those core muscles. So I'm going to lower down the sparkle hips. And then the lightest spot is going to be here at the thighs. Ooh, see how she's toppling on over? She's got to really use those core muscles to stand back up and really work on that balance and coordination. Uh, another activity you can do is have them spin on the ball as well, too. Really work on that control. Um, finally, we can go on our belly and do a little bit of tummy time on the ball, too. Really finding and engaging those tummy muscles. You may see them kind of arch their backs up or drive their heels up to the ceiling, and that's a great way to really work those back muscles as well. So go ahead and take some time. I encourage you guys to try this at least every single day to really find our tummy muscles, which overall help us with our balance control center. It is time for some bubbles. Today we're going to be listening to a song called Twinkle Twinkle Bubbles. Now keep in mind, bubbles are actually a great way to work that vestibular system as well. What we're doing with bubbles is we're working on eye tracking. So your little one's going to be seeing one individual bubble. They're going to track it around in the sky, track it going up, track it going down. That's also a great way to introduce peripheral vision because you're able to kind of see the bubbles in that peripheral vision. That can make you kind of more aware of your surroundings, whether you have friends or family around you or different objects throughout the room. Just overall makes you more aware aware of um, your space that's around you. So we're going to go ahead and pop some bubbles. Hey, if you guys have some bubbles, go ahead and pop them along with me. We'll have a bubble party. Now, a couple things you can do with the bubbles. Encourage them to reach for the bubbles. Keep in mind for my younger ones that are about four to seven, eight months or so, they may just be tracking. They may be smiling. You may see them kind of moving their mouths a little bit. For my um, ones about seven and uh, seven months and up, you may see them start to try to reach for one individual bubble. Again, that's working tracking, but also working on our hand-eye coordination as well. 
Another great thing you can do is blow the bubbles and lift them up to really try to reach those bubbles too. Keep on popping those bubbles. Okay, are your bubbles going up high or down low? I'm gonna get some bubbles on your nose. Here I come. Gotcha. Thank you guys so much for being such awesome balancing buddies with me today. Hey, a couple things for your personal outside practice. Parents, make sure you're really working those vestibular systems at home by working on those partner log rolls and working on rolling, spinning, and going upside down to really help them with spatial awareness. If you remember that back whoop de doo spot, that's a great way to also work on backward rotation and learning how to catch ourselves with our hands. Make sure that you guys are also continuing to read your favorite books. I don't know if you may have one on balancing. If you do, awesome. If not, you can read your favorite storybook as well for your personal outside practice. Again, our baby sign language sign was balance today if you guys want to take that home with you. And before we go, our group song is the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Let's see if we can get those tiny spiders and track it as it go all the way up and all the way down. Here we go. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. All right, thank you guys so much for singing with me. I cannot wait to see you guys in another The Little Gym at Home video. But for now, we have to go. We have to clap our hands and sing that goodbye song. Hey, oh, everyone, please clap your hands and sing along with me. Bye, bye, gym friends. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Bye bye, gym friends. We'll see you soon. Bye bye, gym friends. Oh, bye bye, gym friends. Bye bye, gym friends. Bye bye, gym friends. It's time to get a stamp and go home. All right, bye everybody. See you next time.